Well, good morning from Miami International Airport, my second home. Today, I'm very excited because I'm going somewhere I've never been before. I'm actually going to Haiti. I'll be touching down in Port-au-Prince in about three hours. I'm really excited to see what this country has to hold. It's one of the few places I've never been, a few places in the Caribbean that I've never been. So come along with me, won't you? Allons-y. Hello from Haiti. It's been quite a day. We arrived via Air France this morning. As the plane lands, you see the landscape, which is amazing. It's like, it's very, very mountainous. We landed at the airport, you pay a $10 fee to get in as a foreigner. Port-au-Prince is a big urban center with more than two and a half million people. I'm right now at the Marriott Port-au-Prince, which opened in 2015. And it's a beautiful hotel. The art, the Haitian art that's everywhere is amazing. Everywhere you look, there's another little delight for the eye, whether it's metalwork, whether it's sculpture, painting, photography. Marriott Port-au-Prince has managed to bring a sense of destination and a sense of place. My hat's off, my head wraps off to them for that. This trip is all about art, discovering Haitian art and culture. So tomorrow we'll be out of the hotel all day, going to a village where they make all that metal work that you know that's synonymous with Haiti. Going to visit a few art, more artisans and of course a little bit of shopping. I'm really very enchanted by those sequined voodoo, voodoo flags that you see. But I'm really excited to get out tomorrow and to see and sample a little bit of Haiti. So we are here at in the village of Noye, which is where all the metal work that is so synonymous with Haiti, where you see that done. There are lots of workshops and artisans' uh, creative spaces here. And right now we're at Jacques Eugène, and he is one of the metal artisans here. And Jacques works a lot with spoons. Hey, hey Jacques. Hello. hello and that's hello. Romel, our guide. Hey Romel. I feel an affinity towards Jacques because he uses spoons, couillé in French, for a lot of his work. So I feel an affinity with him because I like to liberate spoons from hotels and restaurants. Not only is Jacques Eugène an amazingly talented artist, he apparently is a great cook too. So he has very kindly offered to let me taste his traditional Haitian cornmeal. Now this is not any regular cornmeal. This is cornmeal with onions and sweet peppers and there's beef in here. And it looks really good and it's a perfect thing for a rainy day like this. Beaucoup chaud. So hot. Beaucoup chaud, Jack says. <laughs> All right, here's a taste test. It is chaud, you may this is bon. You don't have to try this. I don't know where you get it. Maybe you have to come to Jack to get it. But it's worth the trip, trust me. Merci, monsieur. Okay. We're here at Pascal Teilhard Creations and it's official. I want everything, including, oh my God, how cute is this? This is called a tikit, and this little bird, apparently they hate it, they believe that it, when this little bird comes and it lands in the tree in your garden, it brings you good luck. 
So I need like 64 of them. Here I go. You see them there? That's for you. This is for me. I'm pretty excited because we're going supermarket shopping. I'm in Port-au-Prince in the Petionville neighborhood and I'm exploring Caribbean supermarket. I love to explore supermarkets and pharmacies and places that I go to. So here I'm going to check it out. Vanilla, chocolate, pistachio. Yum, yum, yum. Apparently this Patent Tools brand is the brand to have. Can't come to Haiti without buying the local chocolate, Rebo. And this is the same people who make a coffee. This is milk chocolate. And for the packaging alone, I would buy it. My name is Romel Jean-Pierre. I'm Haitian. I'm a filmmaker artist and mostly a tour leader. Haiti will change you. Haiti will walk your world and also Haiti is something that you should experience. You will be full of history, cultural, art, delicacy, food. Come ready for Haiti. Be up. three-day whirlwind trip to Haiti. It's been quite something. It was more than I expected, different than I expected, not what I expected. Uh, the people were fantastic. And oh my goodness, the art, the culture, the and feel privileged that I got a chance to come to Haiti. I recognize that we've only skimmed the surface on this trip. I'd really love to come back and explore the country from north to south, east to west. You know, I don't remember how to say it in Haitian Creole. But even after just three days, Haiti is in my heart.